All right, what is going on, fam? It is Capone Gaming uh, from Twitch. This is my first Marvel Strike Force video. I know a lot of you that do follow this channel have no idea what this is going to be about, but you know what? Hopefully, we get some new eyes on here. And uh, for those that do enjoy Marvel Strike Force, uh, it's a mobile game. I'm a huge, huge Marvel fan. Uh, have been my whole life. And uh, first, I want to say I'm in no way a whale or a kraken. I am basically a free-to-play uh, player, other than buying. Um, Silver Surfer. It was the first purchase I made. So here we are. And I just had a few fights. Now, I know this isn't going to be a meta uh, team. It's just something I wanted to mess around with. I like the Symbiote team. And, uh, you know, I have Silver Surfer. So I wanted to try something new. So I'm going to make a few videos like this, just putting them in just random teams, uh, seeing how they're doing. This is obviously the Hydra team uh, with Red Skull. Uh, which is, you know, a very good uh, team. I mean, you know, it's a good defensive team or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw in some some scenarios. Now, obviously, this is a real-time arena, and, you know, I don't really have a say of who I'm battling against. It's very random. So, you know, I'm just battling the teams I get. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of, you know, uh, trial and error and just, you know, teams that are just not even worth putting in the videos. But, you know, here's a few battles I saw that I figured, you know, why not? Throw them in a video. You guys get kind of like a little view of, you know, what the battle's like. Now, I am autoing these fights, you know, just to kind of speed things up a little bit. They're all autoed. Um, you know, I would have played these, obviously, a little different in certain scenarios. But it's just really neat to see how these these things played out. And, I don't know, I just kind of like that. I've, I've, like I said, I've been a big Marvel fan my whole life. As a matter of fact, I do stream on Twitch every single day, guys, if you guys want to come check it out. 9 p.m. Eastern is usually when we start. Um, and uh, my whole Marvel cave here, my whole man cave is Marvel themed. I got wall to wall Marvel stuff. I got my infinity gauntlet right beside me, usually on my desk. Um, everything is just Marvel wall to wall. I've been a, a, a fan of Marvel since the eighties. Um, and, uh, just, it's really nice to see how it's evolved, uh, into what we have today. Like I remember watching the old movies and stuff, the graphics, the effects were just not there. Uh, you know, Lou Ferrigno is the Hulk and stuff. Uh, it just wasn't there, but now we're at a, an age where, you know, the graphics and the, and the cinematics are fantastic. So here we are, uh, we beat this Hydra team with ease. They just absolutely walked through it. Um, now I'm not saying it's because of silver surfer, but I do love the character. I love the silver surfer character in the Marvel universe and in the game. I think it's phenomenal here. We're playing. We've actually punched up, uh, over 200, almost 220,000, uh, power we're punching up here against, um, you know, an Avengers kind of hybrid team with Wolverine and Spidey. But yeah, we're about 220,000 power. Uh, we're punching up on them. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was just interesting to see how it played out. I mean, Hulk is always nasty. And I, I guess for the Avengers, man, I feel, I feel like the symbiotes are kind of tough, uh, or the Avengers are kind of tough to fight when you're, you're using the symbiotes. I find, I don't know, for some reason I have a, a little bit of a hard time with them. But, uh, I, I do want to say again, guys, you know, in no way am I trying to say this is a meta team. Uh, and no way am I at the end game. I'm not even near the end game. I only have one, uh, character at tier 14 and that is my anti-venom and I just got him there the other day. So I am a basically a free to play player. Um, you know, this is not a flex in any way in this video. It's just me having fun with the game. I do play it all the time. I love Marvel Strike Force. It's pretty much the only mobile game I play. I love it. Uh, I do watch the other uh, content creators' Twitch channels and their YouTube videos. And I uh, just want to say, man, you guys do a fantastic job. Uh, you know, that's where I get all my information from. It's from the other, the content creators and stuff. Um, yeah, I watch their Twitch and, and watch their YouTube videos. They're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So shout out to them. Uh, great job. Keep it up. Okay, so uh, again, guys, I only bought the, the one pack of the Silver Surfer. I just, I couldn't justify doing it a second time. Um, you know, it's pricey, man. I know some people out here, they, like I said, I'm a free to play player. So, you know, throwing 30 bucks on a character for me, that was good enough. You know, one time I, I, there's a part of me that's saying, you know, get the, get it a second time. And then the other part is saying, yeah, I just can't justify it, man. Uh, you know, I just play to have fun. I enjoy unlocking the characters, uh, you know, playing the slow game. Yeah. There's a lot of bottlenecks and stuff. Hopefully, uh, with all, you know, the things going on uh, lately, hopefully they're going to lighten up on those a little bit. I know there's been a lot of pushback from the community. I do watch, I am on the Reddit uh, channel as well, uh, the discords and all that stuff. So I know there's a lot of pushback from the community and, and, and rightfully so. I mean, I understand this is a business, you know, um, they got to make their money somehow. And, uh, but I, I feel like they definitely corner um, corner people a lot more than I think they need to. I, you know, I, you got, they got to lighten up a little bit. They got to lighten up a little bit on on some of these bottlenecks. And uh, I, I'm I'm at the point where I've hit a bunch myself. Um, I'm kind of okay with it. You know, I just uh, I work on other things and in, in, in the meantime. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of bottlenecks in this game. I know it's a big problem. The Red Star is a big problem. Uh, actually, uh, I can get into that a little bit too. I actually had 40 bot no 18 boxes. Sorry, I had 18 boxes of um 
the red star uh, red star boxes, and I opened them up, and I got uh, two one star Silver Surfers, and I got two three star uh, Silver Surfers, and that's what I got out of it. So um, yeah, it's kind of crazy, man. But anyway, here's it is. That was at two hundred and twenty, basically a two hundred twenty thousand punch up um, against just a little team there. It was fun. It was a good little battle. Uh, here we have an Asgardian team. I know the the symbiotes are, are a lot more. You know, they wreck Asgardians. But uh, here we are, you know, punching up over 100,000 again. So it's a little bit of a punch up. Uh, but yeah, the symbiotes absolutely destroy the Asgardians. But, you know, again, I just wanted to throw it in there, show some Silver Surfer in there. Um, just having some fun with it. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So actually, and another thing too, as well, before I get any further, I do want to say I am not a fan of the, the real-time arena. I normally don't play it. I just kind of do a couple of the dailies, kind of quickly trying to get rid of it or do the two I have to do a day. I'm not a fan, but ever since I started doing this, um, I'm really enjoying it. I actually really had a lot of fun doing this last night. Again, I am using a good team, and I'm coming across a lot of teams that are just kind of trying to get their dailies done. So, um, you know, there's a little problem with that. I, I, I wish they had a thing where you could almost choose, like, do you want to play... Uh, are you trying to play competitively? Like, you know what I mean? Do you want to play this competitively? And you kind of check something off and then you can kind of do your own thing. Because a lot of times, you know, I get in these matches and half the time I just want to back out because you know you're just going to walk through. But it's not even fun. And I already did all the, uh, you know, do my mystics, you know, 500 kills on it with a mystic or, or 500 moves or whatever. I already did all those. So now I'm just doing these just for the fun part of, of the arena. And a lot of times, you know, I get in these battles and it's just like, oh, come on. It's just almost a waste of time, right? Because I'm not getting anything from it. And I know the battle is just going to be... Um, you know, just so one-sided that it's, it's not even close. But anyway, so here's, uh, yeah, like I said, a little punch up here with the Asgardians. Uh, we absolutely mopped them. Uh, just just walk through them. I mean, the Symbiote team is is, is fantastic. Um, and again, I'm not an end game player. I have my Asgardians at like 300 and maybe 20K or something like that. And I have my Symbiotes around the same thing, 320, 330K. Uh, I don't have all the Black Order. I don't have a lot of teams. So, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm kind of like a early to mid game. I've been playing maybe about five months. Uh, or so so anyway having fun with it having fun with it okay so here we have um an avengers team with iron man over thor i mean i don't know iron man's pretty useless uh personally i feel like he's just he's just i don't know there's not much to him easy to drop and he's uh i don't know i find if he's in the in the team it's uh, it's an easy dub so anyway we have uh, an avengers team here with um iron man um yeah anyway here we go so I know a lot of people are putting Silver Surfer in with the Dad Bros, uh, which is just absolutely nasty. Uh, Zemo. So I again, like I want to say, guys, I do know there is a lot better ways to use my Silver Surfer. I'm just having fun with this. I'm gonna even put him in other teams too, just for fun. You know, I might throw him in with the Black Order. I might throw him in with Asgardians. I might throw him in with whatever. Make some more videos that way. So uh, if this is something you're, you know, you're enjoying, you're interested in. Um, yo, hit that follow button and uh, leave a comment below. Tell me wh if you did buy Silver Surfer, where are you putting him? Where are you putting him in? I know a lot of people are putting him in uh, Fantastic Four. Um, I've heard people using him with like Cable and uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, the Dad Bros is definitely um, crazy. It's, a, it's just it's insane with, with Zemo. Um, I, I, to me personally, I think the biggest OP team would be uh, Silver Surfer, Phoenix, uh, long shot Shatterstar Baron Zemo. I think that those five, uh, pretty sure that they'd be an unstoppable team simply because when Phoenix dies and turns into Dark Phoenix, there's offense up and and just all this stuff. I think it's just um, that to me would be the team is is those five. I I think uh, I think Silver Surfer is just a phenomenal 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 character. And uh, you know, uh, this is only at two stars, guys. Don't forget, this is a Silver Surfer at two stars. And uh, he absolutely melts. So I can only imagine when he gets to, you know, five, six, seven stars. Uh, wh what is he going to be able to do? It's insane. I've seen him do over 200,000 damage um, in one hit. Like, it's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. Um, I feel like either the, the, the you know, Scopely or, or the game is going to go... Uh, in a totally different direction where they're going to start, you know, upping all the damage. And I, I don't know, because they have to. They have to have something. If he's doing this much damage now, um, what's next? You know what I mean? It's like, what, what's next? What, what's the next character going to be? What's the next event going to be? Is there going to be, like, the big Galactus event? I know people are talking about 
um, you know, doing like world boss raids. I think that would be fantastic. I know a lot of people are, you're kind of hit and miss on it. Some people either love the idea or they hate the idea. Um, I love that kind of stuff. You know, either do like a world boss where, you know, your alliance works together to take it down. Just one big boss. You kind of have your attacks almost like a war. Uh, you know, you attack or maybe you can use your characters once. If they die, they die. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I don't have the answer. Or even just like a literally like a game boss where the entire game Everybody playing it has to beat this guy. We have, say, a week or a month, I don't know, whatever it is, um, to beat him. We work as a team. If we beat it, you know, we get some kind of cool reward or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I kind of like that those things. I played a game back in the day. I mean, we're going back 20 years. Uh, there was a game called Neopets, man, and they actually did events like that where they'd have, like, bosses. And everyone would have to, like, attack them together to kind of take them down. And I always loved that idea. I think it was just really neat. It kind of brings people together. And uh, I don't know. I, li I like that. I like that. So either way, something like a uh, an alliance boss or um, you know a world boss for the game or something like that. Uh, I think that'd be a really really neat idea. I think it'd be a really really neat idea. Um, but yes, if you guys are uh, if you guys do have Twitch and you want to check out new channels, I don't stream Marvel Strike Force yet. I do want to get into it a bit. I do I do stream other games. Uh, we do have a really, really good community, busy community in our in our stream. Uh, we do a bunch of different things. So, um, yeah, if it's something you want to just come in, chat. We do have Marvel Strike Force players in the community. Uh, a bunch of us actually do play together. And, uh, yeah, just we got a good spot, good chill spot. We like to have fun, chat, joke around, laugh. Guarantee you're going to laugh. Uh, and you know what? You never know. Maybe one day I will be uh, streaming this, uh, streaming some Marvel Strike Force. I do love the game. Like I said, I play it all the time uh, when I'm not streaming. And uh, I like the community. I've met a few good buddies in it. And uh, I'd like to meet a few more. So, yeah, if you do, uh, you know, if you want to drop in the comments below, if you do uh, watch Twitch or whatever, come check it out. Come check it out. All right. So here we have who we battling. Oh, yeah. We beat the oh, the X-Men team. So X. So I grew up. I grew up watching the 90s X-Men. My favorite, favorite show of all time. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. I'll get back to that one second here. So here we're fighting another this this battle. I like because we're fighting another um, symbiote team. And, uh, but they're using Mr. Sinister and I'm using, uh, Silver Surfer. So it's, you know, kind of even, I guess you can say, uh, but yeah, I got to drop, I got to drop Mr. Sinister. Cause if he, you know, uh, takes one of my guys, it's basically gonna be one sided and, and it's over. So I have to drop Mr. Sinister first, uh, before I can do anything else. But anyway, um, yeah, so the, um, I grew up on the nineties, nineties cartoon. I love, I love the nineties X-Men cartoon. I still watch it today. Uh, I do have a couple of kids now. And they're at the age where, you know, I'm kind of getting them into it too. And they love it. So it's really fun because I get to relive it too um, and, and watch it again. And, and like I said, I grew up a big Wolverine fan, huge Wolverine fan. Uh, I just liked how, you know, he just didn't care about anything. He just kind of, you know, went in, uh, you know, talk his cheap action speak. I like that kind of personality. I have that kind of same mindset in, in, in life as well. Uh, you know, talk is very cheap. Actions will speak. And, uh, you know, I like that. I like that a lot. So, um, it actually, it, it, it makes me sad, man, that Wolverine is just such a useless character. I find he's so useless in this game. And, uh, I wish, I wish they just upped him up a little bit because he's just so, uh, in my opinion, he's kind of useless. So, um, there's just no need for him. Anyway, uh, love the nineties Marvel's cartoon. So here we are. We just absolutely manhandled that team. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I know obviously Silver Surfer doesn't belong on, on the symbiote team, but, uh, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think, man? What, what team would you like me to put him on next? I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the follow button. Don't forget to come by the stream and, uh, let me know you came from the video. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.